Good Tuesday morning. I hope you had a wonderful start to another lovely summer day. It looked like it's going to rain, so refreshing. The Lord is faithful to give us replenishment absolutely every day. We're August 6th, and the Lord blessed us to read Psalms, of course, as we always do. But I tell you, Psalm 6, 36, 66, I parked on, I believe, Psalms 36, and it contains one of my favorite scriptures. Woo! The clouds are coming, but know that in his light, we see light. Where is that? For with thee is the fountain of life. We talk about the fountain of youth, but the Lord gives us the fountain of life. In thy light, we shall see light. So it might be getting dark right now. It might be overcast. Look like a storm might be coming. But that's the ninth verse of Psalm 66. And it starts out with saying that righteousness is like the great mountains. And we're looking forward to looking uh, to the hills, which cometh our help and driving to the hills in Pennsylvania. But until then, know that he is great. That's in verse six. And how excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men, these are our offspring, our grandchildren, so that they would know in verse seven to put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness, with the riches, with the resources, the blessings of thy house. And thou shalt make them the drink of the rivers of thy pleasure, no matter what goes on. And like I said, in thy light, we shall see light and the Lord will continually be our guide. And I know Timotheus, you said in Psalms 126, yeah, 5. Right now. Psalms 126, 5 oh, talks yeah. about... It says, those who cry while they plant will joyfully sing while they harvest. Mm -hmm. So, like, you have to work hard, you know, for a season. And then you'll see the, the fruits of your labor. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can't really, like, expect success and then, like, you're just, like, laying around. I know I was spending the summer like that, but I know I'm going to have to, like, get back on the grind. And um, yeah, I mean, you have to put it forth, put forth effort. You may complain, maybe like strenuous at the time, but the reward will be bountiful. Hallelujah. And my version it says, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. It might be hard work. He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seeds shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves, his product, his um, the produce that the Lord, the fruit, and you're going to bring that with you. Amen. We are in Joshua's Joshua uh, 19. And Timothy said that the last verse talked to him, spoke to him. And of course, it's talking about inheritance, how, you know, the Israelites had allotments of fields and talks about Simeon getting allotments and um, all the other uh, tribes, Zebulun and Asher and Naphtali and Dan. But then it, toward the end, Joshua was able to uh, receive a special blessing. It says in, I think, verse 49, an inheritance to Joshua. They gave him the city he asked for, the Lord had instructed them to do. And there he rebuilt the city and lived there. I might pass it to you. That was like verse 50. Um, like 53 or something? Or something like that. Yeah, toward the end. Uh -huh. Oh, it wasn't the last scripture? Oh, okay, well, anyway. Um... Joshua, I, like the, I think this, the day like Joshua served, started serving God, I don't think he knew he was gonna like get that special land, and like the reason he started serving God probably wasn't just so he could get like rewards and stuff like that. So it's important to have the right motivation when serving God and um, knowing the reason that um, that you were here. It's not just so you can gain, it's so you can uh, give and live. You know, Live for him. Amen. God wants us to have pure motives. He wants to be glorified. We do not want to twist his arm and be like, with him. What's in it for me? No, it's all for him. It's all for his glory. So let's work hard. Let's glorify God and know that uh, our sowing in tears will be reaping in joy. Amen. All right, I have a good day working hard for the Lord and expect a bountiful blessing that will just blow your mind. Have a good day.